Hey YouTube, what's going on? John here. Today I want to show you a great application for the Mac to track your personal finances. The application is called iBank and it's from IGG Software. I'll leave a link to their website in the description box. But let's go ahead and show you what uh, the program can do. Um, when you first launch, mine launches with a uh, password, so we'll be back right after I enter my password. Okay, now that we're back, let me go through some of the things you can do with the iBank software. Let me first let you know that the software is retails for $59.99, and you can either order that through, uh, through their website, or there's many uh, third-party retailers that carry it. Um, you can download it directly from their website also. Um, as well as get a hard copy. Uh, one of the first things you can, you're going to want to do is add a new account. You can add savings accounts, checking accounts, uh, 401k accounts, uh, stocks, and really just about anything you can even add here. Um, the next button here is for charts. You can add a new chart if you want to see, you know, what if, what are, what's your spending over a certain period of time say for half the first half of the year um, the next one is forecasts you can create a forecast for if you have reoccurring transactions on your account you can create forecasts based on those reoccurring transactions for the future to see what your account will have so say you have you know you have you want to save five hundred dollars a month and you have car payments of three hundred dollars a month you can go ahead and put those in there and add your bank account and find out what you're going to have however many months down the road. There's different interval, intervals you can use. You can use uh, weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, quarterly, and annually. Um, and I'll get more in-depth in this when I do s tutorials on the different features of this. I, today I just want to give you a rough look at what you can do. Um, the next button is a budget. You can create budgets. Uh, there's a ton of different categories for income and expenses uh, in the program um, that you can use to budget your money. You can also create different categories for those. Um, the next uh, button here is budget monitor. It brings up uh, your budget budgets that you have here. Say so you have a personal budget here with your what you want to spend on groceries and gas and cell phone bill. You can list all these here and it'll tell you if if you're below that or over your budget, you know, in also at different intervals, uh, yearly, monthly, bi-weekly, just a bunch of different intervals. And that'll be covered later. They also have a calculator in here for you. Um, also have quotes. You can get uh, updated portfolio by downloading stock quotes here. You can, uh, what's this one, go to, you can go to your account's website and you can also set up your accounts. Say you have an account with Chase, you can set up your account to automatically just download your transactions. It's not totally automatic, but you have to get into the software and you have to click the download button. But it, when you put in your, what you do when you set up your account is you put in your account login, your online login, you know, your username and password, and then you when you're when they've verified that you can come in say you've had five transactions on that account that you know of you can download you can click the download button and download all your transactions from that account um, so and then all over here you'll you'll see your accounts listed here and then you can manage your categories you can add categories to the expenses or the income um, you'll see your forecasts here. You'll see your scheduled transactions. You can put a, all your scheduled transactions in there. Say that be a car payment that reoccurs every month, um, cell phone bill, all those sorts of things you can see here. And you also see your budgets over here once you create those. So that's just a quick uh, overview of what iBank can do. They also have um, a mobile app for the iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad for $4.99 so you can download that and then you can wirelessly sync your data between your computer and your iPhone uh, so you keep it all up to date um, also uh, what I want to let you know was that uh, the current version now is 3.5.7 I believe and they are testing version 4 
which I think is going to be released in October. I'm not totally sure. I emailed me the other day, and they're not totally sure if that's going to be the hard date on it. But if you buy version 3.5.7 today for six, uh, $60, you will receive a free upgrade to version 4. So there's no, uh, no point in really waiting if you're looking for a personal finance uh, software here. I've used this for over a year now, and it's been more than great um, to do everything I've wanted. So um, be expecting uh, videos each week uh, going over different things you can do in here more in depth with the charts, the forecasts, and the budgets. Um, also let you know to uh, keep a lookout for the my 50th video coming next week sometime, which will be a giveaway video. Not going to reveal what I'm giving away, but you will have to be subscribed to my channel to uh, be entered into this giveaway. So if you have any comments or questions about this video, leave those below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can check out the rest of my videos. And we'll catch you guys next time. Bye.